Welcome back YouTube and welcome to Fern Valley Honeybees. We're on this channel. We talk about beekeeping and a few other topics. Uh, this video is about insulated inner covers. Uh, we got to get ready for winter. I'm up in northern Illinois. It's going to get cold. It's coming, which is going to be kind of nice. It's going to be kind of a nice relief. It has been so hot and so humid up here and the mosquitoes have been horrible. Um, and around the beehives, the yellow jackets have been bad too. So it's going to be nice when all that goes away. Uh, but anyways, insulated inner covers. Uh, cold will not kill your bees. Moisture will. It can get cold. Bees can span that. They just, they just kind of, they cluster together and they stay warm. As long as you keep your hive closed and they just stay inside, they stay warm. Moisture is what's going to kill your bees, along with starvation. But this subject is about inner covers and preventing condensation. What, what happens is if you don't insulate the roof of your, the inside of your hive on the top, uh, it'll get so those hives will stay about 98, 99 degrees in there with all the bees. Uh, it builds up all that moisture, it gets really cold, and you get frost that's going to form that's going to form on your roof, on your inner cover, or whatever kind of roof. Like with me, I build my roofs, and I don't have one really close by here. Let me let me pull this down and show you here. This one here. I just build my own roofs this way, and I put shingles on it. This is a whole other video, actually, but this way the water can run off. But I do insulate the inside of this also. I put half-inch insulation in there. Summertime helps keep it cool. In the winter, preventing condensation. You put, this, you put that insulation in there, condensation won't build up. Because what happens is that condensation builds up, it freezes, then you get a nice 40, 50 degree day, January, February, when the sun's beating on your hives, all that moisture, all that, all that moisture that's frozen thaws, drips on your bees, kills your bees. Real simple. Um, so you need to prevent that. The moisture will kill your bees, not the cold. So you want to prevent the uh, you want to prevent the condensation from building up inside your hives. Like I said, my roofs here, I build these. I put half inch insulation inside of them like that. Uh, <clears throat> this will help keep it cool in the summer, and this is going to prevent condensation in the winter. You do need vent holes. You do need to somehow for that air to get out of there. On my hives, I put a I put a uh, inch and a half. I think it's an inch and a half or inch and a quarter hole on either side, so there's plenty of ventilation for that. Uh, in my covers, I build them out of one by four. Um, the exact dimensions. It's pretty much the same as your hive. You know, you just take your hive, measure your hive. The outside of this is like 19 and uh, 7 eighths by 16 and 3 eighths. But go to your hive. Take You can take a super, take a deep. Take your 1 by 4s, cut them. Um, I don't, you could, you could, uh, how do you explain it? You could put like a, you can cut like a notch on either side, kind of like how your hive boxes are built. So it can set inside there. Um, I just cut them to, to length and width, and what I do is I just glue them and I nail them. I do on my router, though, take and put a half-inch gap down either side. I go about, what is that gap? That gap is about, you got to have some B space. That's almost 5 A's, and that's what this looks like here. I use half-inch plywood to the bottom. I cut the half-inch plywood smaller than the outside of this, because obviously it won't fit. I cut a little bit smaller. You, you have to measure it yourself and figure out the dimensions. But I got about a 5 8 inch gap all the way around here. This obviously sits on top. Here's your bee space here. You got room, your bees got room. Um, half inch plywood, one by fours. On the front of it, you can see I got a notch for, for an upper entrance um, if they want to get out. So there is an upper entrance here again, ventilation. Ventilation, ventilation. Big thing. You don't want to put your insulation with no with no ventilation. You got to let the air get out. Like I said, moisture will kill your bees. Um, so anyway, so I use half inch plywood. I kind of changed my design. I had cut like almost a this is almost a three inch hole, and you could see it. Where my other well? You can see it on this. So this one's finished. I had cut a three inch hole. Uh, for ventilation. When then I changed my mind, I think I want to go with a smaller hole. I don't think I need that much. I don't think I need that much air to escape that fast because you do want to keep some heat inside. But what I so I changed it to an inch and a quarter. I think it's an inch and a quarter, the same as my uh, as my roofs. 
And what I did on the inside, number eight hardware cloth, is staple a piece of screen on that. So when this is on your hive this way, this is this is the inside of your hive here. There's your upper entrance. The bees can't get up inside here. Because then you take your foam, and here again I changed it. Um, you take your foam. This is inch and a half. Uh, seven, this, the R rating on this is 7.5. You can get this stuff anywhere. I go to Menards. Um, this is inch and a half. You can go two inch. Some of the stores, this might be a little overkill, but we have a lot invested in our bees, so why not? For the, for the little extra money, put the thicker insulation, and that's what I'm doing. Uh, the R rating on this is 7.5. It's inch and a half. You can find this Menards, Lowe's, any, any stores like that have it. Um, like I said, you can go two inch, or you can even go one inch, but I'm just going to go with the inch and a half. Cut it a little bit smaller. Obviously, you want to cut it so it fits inside, inside, your, uh, inside your inner cover. And then what you want to do, which I got my hole saw, you just want to drill a hole right down the middle. What I do is I take a ruler, I make a line this way, a line this way, there's a the center, take your drill, drill your hole. I'm not going to do it on this one yet because I want to make sure it's perfectly lined up. Um, drill your hole. You take your insulation. This one's not totally cut yet and trimmed. Um, I, I take my table or my bandsaw and I can trim the edges a little bit. Just trim it, trim it, make sure it slides in there really nice. You know what comes in really handy? And I had it here somewhere and I found, oh here it is. These knives, these extendable knives come in, these are pretty slick. I've never used one of these before. This blade will extend all the way out. What these are is they're breakable blades. When the, the first one gets dull, you snap it off and they keep going. But this works really nice for cutting this insulation nice and straight and thick. I just discovered this thing the other day. I've always used a traditional knife, score it, snap it. And usually you get yourself a straight line, but this will cut all the way through it. It's pretty nice. I will show you this when I show you my, my insulation that I'm building for the outside of my hives. That'll be the next video here. We're getting ready for winter, so. But these knives are pretty nice. Like I said, here again, Menards um, sells all this stuff. This works better than this knife because you can cut right through that all the way down and get yourself a nice straight edge. If not, I put it on my bandsaw and I just trim it that way. This is what it looks like when it's in. I don't have, the other ones are already on. Um... Just slide it in there, and then, this isn't trimmed yet, I take the spray foam, uh, great stuff is called, you've seen this stuff, it's everywhere, here again, all the stores have it, take the spray foam, and just take the can, and just spray it on the inside, this looks like this, because I changed my mind, I had the three inch hole cut in here, I thought, you know what, I think that's a little bit too big, so I changed it, I took the piece that I had drilled out, and I drilled a smaller hole, I set it in there, and I put the insulation. But this insulation around the outside is going to help uh, from air getting through there. We're, we're insulating this thing all the way, so no air can escape except through the middle. And this is what the back side looks like. And here again, I had changed my mind, so that's a 3-inch hole. But you can see the, the number 8 hardware cloth is stapled to the inside, and then the inch and a quarter hole right there. Yeah, you want to staple it to the inside, so it's, it's put. You don't want to, You don't want to staple it this uh, this side, just because it might sag. But I just put it on here. So, anyways, really simple. Uh, inch and a half foam. Cans. You buy cans of this stuff. I think it's like three dollars for a can. This will totally insulate all around the edges. And there's your insulated inner cover. This will sit on top of your hive. You got your upper entrance right there. So if they want to get out, and no bees can come and put by putting the number eight, the number eight hardware cloth in there, no bees can come through and get up inside here or get up into your roof. I'm not going to put these on yet. <clears throat> it's a little too early yet, um, but pretty soon it's going to be needed. I'm going to finish building them. Um, you can see I got all my pieces here. I've got a bunch of pieces cut. I've got them already pretty cut. Like I said, I'll put it on my router. I'll take my router and I'll buzz half inch gap, about five a saw, or I'm sorry, three a saw for B space. Glue it, nail it, put it all together, 
and there's your inner cover. You could tweak this idea a little bit here and there, but the biggest thing is ventilation. You gotta let that air get out. So now, with this cover like this, it's gonna keep it warm. No frost is gonna build up because the air can get out, and it's gonna escape through my roof, or it's gonna escape through the upper entrance. Because like I said, Cold ain't going to kill your bees, moisture will. So I think that's kind of it. Um, that's my insulated winter cover. I got this idea from uh, Scotty Hendricks up in Canada. He's a really good guy. Watch his video. He's got a lot of videos on building a lot of different things. I got this idea from him. Um, but like I said, I changed my mind on the bigger hole. I went to the smaller one. Uh, there'll be plenty of ventilation in there. So half inch plywood, one by fours, inch and a half insulation, foam insulation, set it inside there, spray foam around the outside just to help, you know, just totally insulate the whole thing. And then you're good to go. Put your roof on, you're good. What I am going to be building next also for the winter, which that's another video, is a, uh, is a candy board, like a, uh, a sugar candy, a sugar cake um inner cover it's going to be the same thing with the one by fours with a piece of screen then the sugar candy can sit on top of that the bees can come through it eat it and then go back down in the hive that'll be more for like january february if you think your bees are starting to run out of honey that they've built up um, that's a whole other video also i've got a bunch of videos coming from down here in the in the shop here uh the weather's getting kind of crappy and I need to get down here and get some of this stuff finished because winter is coming. So anyways, hopefully you liked the video. Please subscribe, support the channel. There's a little subscribe button. There's a little bell next to the subscribe button. Click that bell. You'll get a notification every time I make a video. Like I said, hopefully you like it. Hopefully you learned something. You got any questions. If you want exact dimensions, I'll put it on the uh, I'll put it below the exact dimensions. But you might want to tweak that a little bit. You might want to put the you might want to put these one by fours on your router and make notches on the corners so it slips so it sets in so it sets in there so that dimension would be off just a little bit um but the general dimension obviously is the outside sides in front of your hive box take a deep take take a super and uh you know measure it that way you're good to go so anyways i think that's it if i for, i don't think i forgot anything um this tidal bond is really good glue also i use this stuff um, this is weatherproof. It's supposed to be totally waterproof. This stuff, when it grabs, it grabs. So that's the glue I use also. So anyways, like I said, hopefully you liked the video. Please subscribe, and I will talk to you guys next time. See ya. Bye.